Hello, Tansang. My name is Inspector Kim Mueller, and I am the officer in charge of the Indigenous Policing Section for the Alberta RCMP. Today I'm speaking to you from the beautiful Treaty 6 territory where I am proud to live and work. May 5th, commonly referred to as Red Dress Day, is a day where we remember and honour the lives of Indigenous women, girls and two-spirited individuals who have been tragically taken away from us. Today and every day, we give our support to the family members whose mothers, wives, daughters, sisters and aunts will never come home. We continue to work in collaboration with First Nations and Métis leaders, elders, stakeholders and communities to take proactive approaches to preventing crimes against Indigenous women, girls and two-spirited individuals. In addressing MMIWG, we have looked to education, mentorship, cultural practices and community-based programs as our best tool to help proactively keep Indigenous peoples and communities safe. We have also worked internally to examine ways to improve on how the Alberta RCMP conducts our investigations related to murdered and missing Indigenous women and girls. In doing this, we have changed many of our investigative procedures and policies to address gaps and tailor techniques to solve MMIWG cases. In honour of today, Red Dress Day, we will be releasing a document entitled Honouring, Empowering and Protecting Indigenous Women. This document was created at the request of some of our matriarchs on the Alberta RCMP Commanding Officers Indigenous Advisory Committee. I would like to especially thank and recognize Anne Wildcat from the Masquachis First Nation for encouraging us to share publicly how we are using the calls to justice as our roadmap to addressing these root causes of this issue. In closing, I want to share with you as an Indigenous woman, mother and police officer that my heart breaks for all of our women, girls and two-spirited individuals from our communities who have been silenced forever. Together, we must bring awareness to this issue to ensure that their stories are never forgotten, but that MMIWG becomes a thing of the past. Hi, hi, thank you.